Hi, so I'm going to be taking a look at a bash card from 1UP Components. So this is their rather catchily named ISCG 05 Underbash. So this is basically a bash guard which uses the lower two bolts to attach. I need this because my evil frame only has the two lower bolts to attach bash guards. So let's pop this out, see what we've got. So you've got the bash guard itself and then you've got two additional plates. These plates are size specific, so obviously you just put the one on that you need for your particular chain ring. It's quite a handy feature because it means that you don't have to buy a new bash guard if you change the ring size. So this is for 30 tooth. This one is for 36 max. And this is for 34, which is the one I'm going to be using. These are oval ring compatible. So you can see it's got the 1UP logo embossed into it. It's attached via these two 5mm chain ring bolts and it has a little cover over one of them. It comes with an additional cover, obviously in 1UP components customary green, if you want to run that. So to remove this, you just push it out from the back and it unclips off the top and then you use 5 mil Allen keys to replace that. Swap it out for one of the other plates if you want to use one of those. And it comes with two bolts and two spacers. And it's actually recessed on the front for the bolt to sit in. And then you would run the spacer on the back on the actual tabs on the frame. It's pretty lightweight, pretty straightforward, it's just a bit of uh, metal and a bit of plastic. I always use these because I'm, well, the bottom brackets on frames have got ridiculously low and I'm forever catching my chain ring. Okay, so here we are on my frame. So the good thing about this is you don't need to remove your crank or chain ring. You just need to rotate it round to expose the tabs on the frame. I would advise running a bolt through the threads if you've been running the frame without a bash guard in there, just in case there's any dirt in there, just to make sure that you don't damage them. So, these bolts don't come with any thread lock on, so I'd recommend using a little dab of Loctite 243 on them just to keep them in place. So, pretty straightforward. I usually just start at the front, just drop the bolt in. Put the spacer on the back, line it up, let's get your arm key in there, then you just need to make sure you find the furthest point, this is an oval ring so I'm just going to make sure I line it up and then just cinch it down, as you can see it just gives a nice bit of protection for the chain ring. So this is what it looks like when it's mounted onto the actual frame. As you can see I've got it rotated forward just because that's where most of the impacts are going to happen. And I'll just show you what the clearance is like on it. But anyway that was the 1UP Components underbash bash guard got any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the box below. And thanks for watching.